Hey everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. Next month in March we're meant to be getting the new season added to Fallout 76 which is meant to be themed around Atlantic City, the America's Playground update. Now with this we're meant to actually be getting a few new changes to the so called scoreboard or slash season, whichever you want to call it. Currently it is a scoreboard but according to the most recent Inside the Vault it could be changing to seasons. Now as you may have seen on the actual PTS itself, on the main kind of menu it will say seasons now instead of scoreboard and looking at what's been data mined so far it appears that there is definitely some interesting changes coming in a couple of weeks back now DSJ added in to the data mining discord some information that he found in the files this includes a little bit talking about the new so-called season pass and it also mentions some tickets now reading through it a little bit and trying to gather what we know so far which is extremely brief and please take it all with a pinch of salt don't jump on any hate bandwagons or anything like that or get overly excited because we still need to wait what officially is going to be getting added in this is just kind of like a brief insight to it on what we know so far now from that brief information that we kind of know and have seen thus far from the data mines and stuff, what I'm expecting is going to be you either need Fallout first, which will allow you to continue unlocking all of the rewards and the premium rewards, or if you don't want to subscribe to Fallout first, you can now actually buy something called a Season Pass. This is something that we have seen in many other games, and it's definitely an interesting way to move forward. Maybe you don't want to sign up to Fallout first, but you would like to actually get the premium rewards from a certain season. So maybe season 16 comes in, you see some like what would have been the Fallout first exclusive rewards, which will now be the premium rewards, and maybe you're actually interested in getting them, so you buy the season pass. This will then save you from buying like uh, the monthly kind of subscription for Fallout first, and instead just pay one kind of lump sum. I don't know how much that will be just yet, and presumably it shouldn't be too much, I'm hoping, Usually season passes around, what, $10, $8, something like that. But then in turn, this, according to this kind of uh, bit of information that we got from DSG, will bring in a new form of way of working with this ticket system. Now in this wall of text that he did send in, it does mention that complete the challenges to gain ranks and earn tickets. So what I'm gonna presume is each rank will reward you with say maybe one ticket, and then you can spend these tickets on unlocking the rewards that you actually want. This is a very similar kind of system that you've seen in Fortnite if you've ever played that, where you can just keep ranking up, ranking up, building up your tickets and then save them for the items that you actually want to buy. But yeah, that's the way I'm gonna presume that's gonna be working. Like I say, it is still very early on to say anything. We need to wait for the official confirmation of stuff, which no doubt will happen, say, like a week before the actual update itself, which I believe is happening around the 5th of March. It's important to note as well that the accumulated tickets will reset at the start of each season, as mentioned, so you won't be able to, like, if you don't like a certain season, get loads of tickets, so then when the new season starts, you can just buy everything straight away. That will not be possible. There's also an image that was shared in the data mining discord as well of the new season pass header of course this may change name and stuff like that but it shows you a brief kind of look at what's to come of course everything on there is kind of like the um like default standardized stuff but it does actually say a pretty cool thing in the top left where it says season pass reset hashtag days this means we could be getting a countdown to how many days is left until the new season the interesting bit for me though is going to be will Fallout first still get exclusive items or will this also be unlockable through the season pass? Too early to say and we don't know enough information on that so it's definitely one to look out for. That though sadly is all the information that I've found on this so far. The new season does include a whole bunch of new items which I did share a data mining video on and please don't forget to go check out DSJ over on Twitter as he does share a bunch of data mine stuff as soon as it comes out so definitely give him a follow. The link for him will be down in the description. But now though that is it for this video so I hope you all did enjoy. If you did make sure to click on that like button, subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.